Hello, dear friends. This lecture series is a part of a series that is going to be there on YouTube as BA Part First English Literature Paper First as a part of Maharaja Ganga Singh University, Bikaner. This lecture series has been prepared by me, that is Dr. Avinash Jodha. And first of all, I would like to tell you that the first paper in English literature as a part of BA Part, uh, BA part First includes poetry, one act plays, a part of literary history and literary terms. And the period of poetry that we are going to take up begins, say, from the Elizabethan age, beginning with Shakespeare, right up to the end of the Romantic age, which is John Keats. Dear friends, those of you who are new to English literature, we should first of all know a few things about literature that include the major genres, primarily the two major genres in literature are poetry and prose. And then there are further many multiple divisions. And as we go forward, we will come to terms with them, we'll understand them, and there will be different kinds of forms of writing that we will come across. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about William Shakespeare, whose period was from 1564 to 1616. As you all know that he is a household name all over the world. And even those people who are not much familiar with English literature are familiar with his name. Reason being that right from 16th century, to the present, his appeal has not diminished. William Shakespeare was primarily a playwright, but he was an actor and a poet too. And he has produced a considerable amount of work, which has been translated, adapted in theater, in forms of plays, in forms of films, and he has been translated into different languages all over the world. And even till date, his plays and his stories, they remain relevant. So first of all, let's know a little bit about his biography. He was born on 26th April, 1564, and he passed away on 23rd April, 1616. As I told you, he was a poet, playwright, and an actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He's often called England's national poet and the Bard of Avon. The reason he's called Bard of Avon is that he was born in the village Stratford at Avon. His extent of works include some collaborations consists of around 38 plays, 154 sonnets, two long narrative poems, and a few other verses, of which the authorship of some is uncertain. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. At this point, let me tell you that there are certain areas of Shakespeare's life and of some of his works about uh, which not much is known and there have been certain, you may say, some controversies regarding the authenticity of uh, that information. But the kind of work that is available with us through different folios and through different kinds of editions, until and unless there is something very, very authentic, the plays that are credited to Shakespeare 
should be considered his place only. And there is a kind of uniformity of appeal which his place come up with. Continuing with his biography, Sheshkar was married to Anna Hathaway at the age of 18. She was eight years older than him. They had three children, Susanna and twins Hamnet and Judith. After his marriage, information about his life became very rare, but he is thought to have spent most of his time in London writing and performing in his plays between 1585 and 1592. He began, a successful, he began a successful career in London as an actor, writer, and part owner of a playing company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men, later known as the King's Men. Dear students, you should remember at this point that for Shakespeare, the path of success was not this easy because at that point of time when he started writing, the literary scene or theater was dominated by the upper upper class, or that is the writers who came from the upper class. And Shakespeare, he was from the middle class. And before turning into a writer, he worked into different kinds of capacities, gradually rising. And when he uh, was rising as a playwright, he had to face a lot of a uh, lot of criticism from those people who were already established in the field of theater but nevertheless he persisted and succeeded eventually shakespeare produced most of his work popular work between 1589 and 1613 his early plays were mainly comedies and histories, and these works remain regarded as some of the best works produced in these genres. He then wrote mainly tragedies until about 1608, including Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, and Macbeth, considered some of the finest works in the English language. And here I must tell you that even in India, many of his plays and especially his comedies and tragedies, they have been adapted into theater as well as films. Some of the tra tragedies you might be familiar with, they have been adapted in Hindi cinema. For example, Hamlet, Othello, Hamlet, Othello and Macbeth. Macbeth has been adapted as Makbul and Othello as Omkara and Hamlet as Heather by the film director Vishal Bhardwaj and even these films have been very, very successful in India. And similarly, his adaptations have been there in other parts of the world, include Europe, America, Africa, name any continent, and you'll find Shakespeare's adaptations over there. In his last phase, he wrote tragic comedies, and they are also known as romances, and he collaborated with other playwrights. Dear friends, this biographical source has been for this lecture has been from www.myenglishpage.com. Primary written information has been from there and rest is mine.